your local weather with the KX News Storm Team. Welcome back, everybody. Well, at least we got some sunshine out there today, right? Uh, clouds cleared and uh, still looking at some clear skies currently off towards the uh, southwest here, looking off towards the Capitol building on a beautiful evening, beautiful sunset out there, but it's cold. 12 degrees is our temperature and it's been breezy as well. Northwesterlies at 20 miles per hour. Makes it feel like six below currently in the capital city. Cold air to the east. We're actually below zero right now in terms of actual temperatures for rugby in Toronto Mountains. One in Harvey, two in Medina. But same old story. You go west, you go a little further south in temperatures. Eh, they're not so bad. So Hedinger, which has been our frequent warm spot, is our warm spot right now, at least in North Dakota. It's 19 degrees there. Here the winds are out of the north, northwest, sustained 15 to 20 miles per hour. So yeah, it's been a breezy day with gusts up to near 30 miles per hour for Garrison and up towards the Magic City right now. So with temperatures actually below zero and you get that wind out there, yeah, you're talking about wind chills in the 20s below zero right now off towards our northeast where you guessed it. Wind chills not quite as bad off towards the southwest, but really wherever you look, it is pretty chilly and we have a high wind watch that encompasses the eastern part of the state. There's a winter storm watch in fact across the eastern far eastern part of the state, not in our area. But for parts of our area, at least our eastern counties, we do have a high wind watch that's going to be for tomorrow into Friday and a wind chill advisory. This has actually just been expanded now. So the wind chill advisory and it will last until 10 o'clock tomorrow morning covers all areas of the state north and east here of the Missouri River with maybe the exception of Emmons County. That will be for tomorrow morning. More on that here in just a second. Uh, satellite radar, you can see this big hole in the cloud cover across the state. That is because we have high pressure building on in. It will continue to build on in. It's actually going to build right overhead by tomorrow morning. So that'll keep our skies a little clear. Uh, it'll also kill off those winds. Winds will slowly decrease through the day or through the night, excuse me, as high pressure builds overhead. But it will also mean a very cold start to tomorrow morning, particularly across our eastern county. That's where the wind chill advisory lasts, but it won't stick around that cold air anyway, because here comes another surge of warm air from the west, and that'll increase chances for light snow, maybe even a little bit of rain across our southwest. That's how much temperatures are going to warm. So tomorrow, look for a pretty warm day. And by Friday morning, look for some very strong westerly winds with a cold front moving on through. Very strong winds behind the cold front here with northwesterlies by the afternoon. But notice the cold air just doesn't surge all the way back towards the southwest. And by Saturday morning, we're going to be waking up again to some very cold temperatures. But again, they're not going to stick around all that long. Now lows tonight, yeah, 20s below zero to the northeast. Elsewhere temperatures in the single digits above and below zero. Highs tomorrow, much colder to the northeast where we're looking at highs in the single digits. Look to the southwest, highs in the 40s. A big spread from northeast to southwest. Dickinson, you'll be one of the warmer spots tomorrow with highs in the upper 30s. Cooler on Friday, I'll be up a little bit. <laughs> Look what we do on Saturday. We go from temperatures in the single digits to highs in the low 50s. Williston, your temperatures will be in the low 30s to the upper 20s tomorrow on, on towards Friday with a warmer day on Saturday. And as we look at mine out here, your temperatures will be in the mid to upper 20s the next few days. It will turn quite windy on Friday. Let's look at Bismarck here. Temperatures in the upper 20s tomorrow into the mid 30s on a very windy Friday as that kind of backdoor cold front slides in from the northeast. But we rebound so quickly on Saturday with that warm weather. This is good news. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Coming up next, you've likely